Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and in today's video we are doing a ton of Dollar Tree DIYs. I'm sharing my favorite blanks for Christmas time and how you can use them to decorate your house for the holidays, so stay tuned. Before we hop into the DIYs, I wanted to give Skillshare a huge thank you for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with a ton of different classes to help you really harness your creativity. I've used Skillshare before professionally to help me hone my skills in Photoshop, After Effects, social media copywriting, and I really loved it. In addition to that, they have a ton of class categories across a wide spectrum like digital photography, design, and my favorite Canva, and calligraphy, but it's also great for your business skills too, like writing, business analytics, leadership and management, and also productivity. I personally just finished a class for pleasure in iPhone photography. It was taught by Dale McManus and it was jam packed with a ton of information in under an hour, which is great because I'm busy. This class taught me a lot of things that I didn't know as far as shot composition with things like dead space and also some settings on your phone that you should and shouldn't have turned on when you're taking photos. If this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, be sure to check out the link down in my description. The first thousand people to use that link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And now let's get into the DIYs. First is this Buffalo check hanging sign. And you guys have seen me do this before, this thinking of a master plan sign. I bought so many of them so I can make them for every season and we are on to Christmas. So I took some scrap Buffalo check fabric. I believe this came from Walmart, but you can get some of this if you get lucky at Dollar Tree. And I just used some Mod Podge to line up the piece of fabric, pull it tight and put it onto my sign. I worked in sections so my Mod Podge was on there wet so it wouldn't dry and I just used a little brush to get it on there. Then I made sure I had Mod Podge on the sides of the signs and on the back so that I could fold over the fabric so it would stay. I gave it a really good treatment of Mod Podge and then I folded over the two bottom flaps of the pennant just like I would a Christmas present so that everything would lay down flat. Once all the Mod Podge had dried, then it was time to add my sign. So this is just a little Dollar Tree plaque I stained with dark walnut stain from Minwax. And then I added this Sleigh Bells Ring, Are You Listening? SVG I designed in Canva. Added some hot glue, stuck it to the sign. And then I finished off the look with these really cute picks from Walmart. I would highly recommend checking out Walmart for picks. They are a lot better quality in my opinion this year than Dollar Trees and they are 98 cents. So they're very comparable. Once those were all stuck with hot glue, I took some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, made a little bow to finish off that center, cut the ends, and glued down my ends so that they sat where I wanted them to. This is totally my vibe for Christmas, the red and black buffalo check plus the wood stain. I love the flocked berries in the picks, and this looks perfect in my wreath over my coffee bar. If you like this sign, I do have two other versions of it on my channel. I will link them down below. I have a spring version as well as a fall version, all with free cut files, so you can check that out. Now, I've gotten questions from you guys on how do I get the files on to my Cricut. So here's what you do. You click the links down below if they're ones that I designed. Click the file you want, and in the right-hand corner, click Download. Select where you want to save it and then go to your Cricut design space, click upload on the left and then navigate to where that file was saved. You're going to click simple and next and then you can go ahead and click next because I take out the background already for you. You're going to want to make sure you click save as a cut image to the right. Then you're going to add it into your design space. Click the file you just added and add it to your canvas. Then you can resize up at the top to whatever size you need. And then you can follow the prompts, whether you're cutting out a regular vinyl cut, iron on, etc. This next one is really simple, but it's so impactful. I love how high end it looks in my neutral bathroom. So I grabbed one of these five by seven mercury glass looking frames from Dollar Tree. And then I cut out a Oh Holy Night free printable, actually. I will link this down below. It came from a blog. I have another sign in my house that has the same saying on it, and I loved it, so I wanted to do it on this sign, too. I cut it out, used some transfer tape, and put it on the glass pane of the frame. And then to make it look like a chalkboard, I painted the back of the glass with black acrylic paint. 
That way it made my artwork look a lot better, I think, than a printable. You could definitely print it out as a five by seven and put it in there. But I like that the black is behind the glass and that the vinyl is on the front of the glass. I also used matte white so it wasn't super shiny and I love how the look turned out. It looks so cute with my little gnome and my flock trees in our bathroom. And this is truly the meaning of Christmas right here and I'm really excited to use it in my decor this year. Up next is some fun ones for your kitchen. And these items I actually had in my basement for something else and I'm glad that I tried this. So these are these chiffon bar mop Dollar Tree towels. And I just cut out some fun little SVG files for both of them. So I went through and made sure to cut my stuff on iron-on vinyl. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put the shiny side down on your mat, and then you're also gonna to wanna to select iron on on your computer, and then also mirror the image. I have, an, I have other videos down below that show how to do that. Today, I've got a lot of projects to get through, so we're flying, but I will link that so you can check it out. Then I use my Cricut Easy Press to transfer the decal over to the towel. The two I did were Christmas Baking Crew and also Christmas Calories Don't Count. I like that they look like they came in a set and also I really like the white texture. Just threw them over the top of a black and red buffalo check towel that I already had and it really spiced up my little oven area. These next oversized ornaments I recently did in our Friend Friday video and I love them. You guys loved them so I had to include them here. The blanks here are these large wood star cutouts. And I started by staining mine with my favorite dark walnut stain and I made sure to cover both sides. Once they dried, I brought them inside and grabbed some white Waverly chalk paint. I went through and did a cross between a true dry brush and a full paint. I wanted to allow the stain color to show through. And so I went over with, I would say probably about 75% of paint. So you can see that it's a little rustic. And then after I went through and painted it, I just roughed it up with some 100 grit sandpaper to get that kind of faux birchwood look. Then it was time to add my decals. I decided to do Silent Night and All is Calm, All is Bright. However, you could honestly use any of the decals that I'm sharing today to put on this. It's really up to you. And I just did them in the simple matte black. Final step was to take some jute twine and replace the hangers because I am going to use these on my tree. This year I had to get really creative because a lot of our glass sentimental ornaments I didn't put out because I'm not sure how Finn's going to do with the tree. So here's what they look like on our Christmas tree and it takes up a ton of room. It's a really nice statement piece. This next one is so so easy and I love this saying, can you guess what movie it's from? So I grabbed one of these Dollar Tree little organizers and some Rust-Oleum paint. This is apple red color. I spray painted the lid and then I cut out this little decal. And then I used some transfer tape and applied it to the lid. Now the trick with these is apply it when it's on the container because it only is straight if it's on there. I ended up putting it on upside down face palm. But I love this quote, and did you guess it? It is from Elf. World's best cup of coffee, congratulations. Sticking with the kitchen theme is this trivet. So Dollar Tree has both round and square trivets, and I wanted to make a really simple one. This would make an awesome hostess gift as well. You could also add the family's last name. Final step is to seal it with a coat of Mod Podge, so then that way everything is sealed down. It seals clear, but then that way you don't have to worry about it. If you also have some dishwasher safe Mod Podge, you could really stick that down, so then that way you know it's fully sealed. But I'm just using mine as decor, so I just needed enough to make the decal stay. Now you guys know I love making over Dollar Tree signs, and here is another one that I'm loving so this is this snowman sled and the bones of it is amazing but i wanted to go a little bit more neutral so i popped the whole thing apart and i took some sandpaper and got rid of the glitter then i just took some black waverly chalk paint in the color ink 
put about three to four coats. I can't exactly remember, but I needed enough to cover like the shiny little scarves of these snowmen, snow family, snow people. You get my drift. Then I applied the decal. I somehow misplaced that clip, who knows. But then I just took some hot glue, reassembled the whole thing, added the hanger back on, and then I tied a bow of some black and white buffalo check ribbon to stick with that neutral theme. And I absolutely love this. It goes really well with my little snowball votives that I recently made in another video. I will link that up above for you if you're interested in those. But this whole like white Christmas vibe of the scene here, I am loving. Now you might recognize this saying from earlier in the video and I just loved this design I made that I wanted to put it on a pillow as well. So these are made from some Dollar Tree Buffalo Check placemats. I cut out my saying on heat transfer vinyl again, same as those towels, and I use my Cricut Easy Press to transfer it to the pillow. You could definitely use an iron for this, like I said before, I just really like the Easy Press. It makes it a lot easier. Then once it's peeled off, it was time to assemble my pillow. So I grabbed my second placemat and I glued the two together. I made a ton of these placemat pillows and I just can't stop. They're so cheap and affordable and it's really nice because about every couple years I decide I want something different. So here I have a pillow from a gift sack and I'm just pulling out stuffing and putting it onto the next pillow to repurpose it. You want to make sure you get stuff all into the corners so that you don't kind of have frumpy edged pillows. You want to make sure your corners are all filled out. And then I finished off the look with a blanket stitch with just some white yarn. And I think this looks like something you would buy at Home Goods. I might be giving myself too much credit. I don't know, but I really like it. And you would never guess that it was made with Dollar Tree items. These little chalkboard easels from Dollar Tree are amazing for DIYs. They would also be amazing for wedding or party crafts. So I ended up cutting out this Believe in the Magic of Christmas design, and then I transferred it with my paper transfer tape. I get a lot of questions about this transfer tape. I will link it down below. I use the Expressions Vinyl transfer tape. I really like it. Then once I stuck that down, kind of right justified, I added some red and black buffalo check ribbon as well as some jute twine, tied it in a knot, and then added to the jute twine two little Dollar Tree bells. Once those were tied and the ends were cut, I finished off the look by tying the bow at the top and then finishing off the ends of the red buffalo check ribbon. This goes super cute with my new mug from Target, my cute little Santa. I will link that down below for you. They have so many cute mugs this year. It is insane, but I absolutely love this and it's really good for areas where you need a little Christmas, but you don't have much room. Here's another sign makeover. For this one, I went more winter so I could leave this out through the rest of the season. So I grabbed this let it snow sign and I removed the sticker from the back because I wanted it to feel more like a shadow box. I went through with some black acrylic paint and just painted the back so it looks like a chalkboard. While that was drying, I painted two wood rounds from Arteza that I had left over from a recent video and painted them both white. Once those were done, I took some jute twine and tied the two pieces together so that they stayed as a snowman. And then to cover up that little tie, I used a piece of scrap fabric. This is actually cut from a Dollar Tree Buffalo Check scarf, but you could use whatever you have on hand. Then to finish off my cute little snowman, I took some orange paint and gave him a little nose and then some more black paint to do the eyes and the mouth. Last step was to assemble the sign, so I cut out this walking in a winter wonderland decal. I applied that to one side, and then I just took some hot glue and stuck down my snowman. For some reason, I felt the need to drop him before I stuck him down. Klutzo over here. And then I decided it was a little plain, so I took some white paint and added some little snowflakes to jazz it up a little bit. I also figured out that I lost my A, so I stuck that back down there, and then we were in business. I think this one is so cute. This would also be a great thing that you could have your kids draw on the little face to keep it as a keepsake. 
Thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to Skillshare for partnering with me on today's video. Don't forget the first thousand people to use the link down in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can check it out and really hone your skills. And I hope you'll hit subscribe so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Wet video and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!